Today we're going to work on the inner wheel well tubs. Now we can buy new tubs for this car but they're around $300 each and really it's just bad at the bottom. Also if we buy it we have to disconnect a lot of stuff to install it um, such as the trunk support at the top and there's there's many structural pieces that have to be disconnected in order to change the entire tub. So we can make the piece that we need rather easily. As you can see I've taken some cardboard and just uh, molded it on the inside of the wheel tub to get the basic shape and drew it out with marker so that I have lines to know where to cut. So I'm going to cut this down and then I'm going to transfer it onto metal um, and then I can take the metal and put a bend in it to make it fit the wheel tub and then we can stitch it in and that part will be fixed and finished. Okay so all I've done is I traced the cardboard template out onto a piece of metal and I cut the metal and then I just bent it with my knee and got it the right shape. Now obviously it's sitting lower than it's going to go but it's just there for reference to show you the shape of it and now all I have to do is attach it to the car. That'll be the next step. So what I've done here is I trimmed off some of the rotten stuff off the bottom of the inner tub just to make clearance so that the new piece can go on into place. And what will happen now is I'm going to just tack weld it on. Sorry about my camera work. I'm going to just tack weld it on these spots just around the back here. As you can see from the inside it lines up nicely with the old tub. What will happen after this is I will slice the panel where they meet and I will push the panels together and butt weld them in. But for now I'm just going to tack it on so it's in place and then I can I can change it later and butt weld it in. ugly welds on it right now. Just to hold it in place. Much better. <sighs> so now that I've got that panel in place, they can just stay there for now. I'm going to start on the other side. Like I said, afterwards I'm going to come back. I'm going to cut all of this out anyway and butt weld it all in. But for now I just want to get stuff in place so that I can put the trunk pan in and make sure that everything lines up properly. So basically what I did is took the template from the other side that I did. They're going to be both the same. So I'm just going to do a, a reverse pattern on this piece and cut it out and it should fit up just fine.
So what I've done here is I've clamped it an inch higher than where it actually needs to go. If you look down in this corner, you can see the remains of the old piece still there. And it's an inch lower than where I've got this right now. So I just put it in on that line, so I have the right line. And then I drew a line up here. So when I go to cut the bottom part off, I can then move that down that distance and I will be in the exact same place that I started. Okay, we've got the panel fitted on this side. So now we're just going to put a few tacks on it, just like the other side, to get it stuck on. And then we'll start cleaning it up and making it a permanent fixture. I don't want these welds too solid because I want to be able to take them off easily. So I'm not trying to get them on too excessively. I'm going to drop my clamp. clamp on the inside a little bit so we can get a little better equipment tighter. So I've actually decided I don't like where I've mounted it. It seems kind of high for me. So I'm going to just grind off what I put on here and adjust it and re-weld it. That's the beauty about tacking it on. It gives you a chance to look at it visually because nobody's perfect the first time necessarily. You can always make mistakes. So this is easily correctable and I'm going to show you how to do that. on the outside of the car you would not want to be grinding and welding so close together because you will create a lot of heat and warpage in the wheel tub here it shouldn't be an issue because the tub has a curve to it and it's it's attached up here and everything so there's lots of structure there to hold it but if you were in the middle of a door doing this you'd want to go very slowly and take your time and make sure the panel cools down completely before doing anything else. You don't want to put too much heat to it because it will work very quickly. possible to the other metal so that you don't leave a mess and it looks nice at the end.
have to get something to help me negotiate. And wherever it's not flush, we don't want to weld. We want to get. We only want to put welds on where it's sitting flush. We can adjust the rest later. But we need a flush where we're going to weld. Right there is flush. We'll hold up there. Where's my welder, which is on the other side of the car, of course. Give that a stitch. Two welds on this corner because it's pretty tough. I want to move. So right where I have the screwdriver pretty much is flush. Um, it's sticking out a little bit here. We can adjust that after. Actually, I'm going to try to do that a little bit now. I'm going to have to hammer that on the inside. Flatten it out again because I just squished it out. Alright, so let's get a tack on there for now. Turn up the screwdriver to the car. Wouldn't be the first time I've ever done that. Prefer not to. Grab my trusty hammer. It's like a dollar store hammer. It's the first one I've seen. My body hammers are on the other side of the room, and I'm too lazy to go and get them. And this works just fine for this kind of stuff. So kind of straighten that piece out a little bit. It's going to need a little more work, but we'll come back to that. I'm going to get the rest of it stitched in first, and then I'll come back and adjust everything that needs to be adjusted. type to be on camera, not the type to like people watching me work. This is all new to me, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Under the circumstances. Okay, so my battery is dying, but I'm going to do what I can here before my battery dies off to show you how I stitch this together. Slowly stitching together. It takes a long time to do this process. A lot of patience. Enjoy 
just feel for heat it's pretty warm right now so I'm gonna let that cool down for a little bit so we here we have the wheel tub finished off pretty much it's uh, still needs a little bit of dressing but it's basically ground down and fitted to the inner wheel tub now I left the end piece sticking out there because I have to do the outer wheel tub yet and I want to make it all work when I have the outer wheel tub on so I'll address that when the time comes there's what it looks like before grinding it I just finished welding this side now I have to grind it down to make it look like the other side when it's all done it's going to look seamless and you won't know that anything's been even touched anyway that's it for today thanks for watching and uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and I, I hope uh, the trend continues and, and we get more people watching thank you